Good morning. We're up in Seattle, Washington this morning. And uh, we're going to join Whiskey Uniform 7 Hotel, Josh, uh, and possibly another ham to activate a peak or two up here. So, really looking forward to it. And uh, be completely new area for me, new state, the whole shebang. So, um, yeah, it should be good. I may run into a little bit of snow. And uh, who knows? It may get rained out too because it it's been raining. Uh, it is. It is a rainy season, so uh, worst case, um, I get to have coffee with uh, Josh, and that's a pretty good worst case in my opinion. So here we go, coming up the free, uh, we're going up the five north here, and uh, with the overcast, I can't tell what direction we're heading. <laughs> CQ, CQ. This is November 1, Charlie Lima, Charlie. Summit's on the air. All right, I'm here with uh, Josh, Whiskey Uniform 7 Hotel, and Daryl. Daryl, Whiskey Whiskey 7 Delta. Yep. All right, so where are we going, Josh? We are going to do uh, Sawyer Mountain and maybe Tonga Ridge. All right. Which is up Highway 2, uh, just up near Stevens Pass. Okay. Awesome. And uh, hopefully we can make it up there. There's probably going to be some snow. Okay. It's snow in the last couple days up there. All right. So we're where are we at right now? What's the name of this park? Uh, we are at Brightwater Park in Woodenville. All right. That's our that's our rendezvous spot. So It's a sewage treatment plant. Oh, it's beautiful here. <laughs> that would explain why it's so green. <laughs> well fertilized. All right. So we're going to get cracking here in a couple minutes. You said mostly sunny. That's unusual well this time of the year it's a crap shoot we get a lot of nice days in the fall so you just never know but um it, lately it's been kind of crappy the last few weeks but uh i was surprised when i checked the weather forecast yesterday because it's been looking like uh pretty nasty and wet all week and then all of a sudden boom mostly sunny so um we'll take it Passing through a lot of uh, little towns here on the way over. Um, really pretty little area. Starting to clear up. Uh, clear skies right above us. I think it was a little bit of drizzle, but the, uh, the overcast is continuing to lift. Josh is predicting clear skies, so uh, that will be interesting. I'll take anything. It's uh, I'm excited to get up there and get it going. Turned off the main highway and uh, well, it is a pretty dense forest. Not used to such density and green. But the climate is uh, so much, gets so much more moisture than California, Arizona. This is just incredible. We were talking, I was talking to guys about bushwhacking through here. And, uh, you know, you get into those spiky bushes and it's impossible to get through. This is really, really something in here. We're at the trailhead for Mount Sawyer, Mount Sawyer and Mount... Tonga Ridge. All right. So it's about 46 degrees I saw on the temp gauge. That. About right. So nice and cool, perfect for a uh, little misty, but uh, Josh thinks it's going to clear up on us for us, so should be fine. So let's get cracking. Right. Totally yeah. stoked. This is awesome. It's already a nice day, dude. Yeah. This is awesome. The ground is damp, but not slippery. I was the first activator of the summit we're going to. Okay. Which is amazing because it's a very popular summit, former lookout site. Yeah. And uh, it's either the first time or the second time I did it. I uh, some somebody came back to my CQ and they were in uh, Seattle, 
It was this guy, and that was his very first chase. That's huh? right. That's right. I <laughs> forgot you were on this summit. My first time I chased first, you. That yeah. was my first soda chase ever. Yeah, and it might have been might have been the first activation of the summit at the same time. So. His love at first transmit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I had uh, seen Daryl. Been together ever that. since. <laughs> yeah, I had seen Daryl before that uh, on during salmon run. A couple of times I saw his truck with you know you should see it when it's set up for his mobile. It's got like for roving. Ton, yeah, for roving. It's got tons. Officially a snow hike. There you go. Hope it didn't hope it don't fall, man. <laughs> no, you haven't seen me hike, dude. That's <laughs> Tonga. Isn't that pretty? Yeah. I mean we're on Tonga Ridge, that's the high point over there. Is there a river down there? I think so, yeah. Just almost can hear it. Yeah. Very pretty. So as you can see, snow uh coming down or snow coming up the trail here. And uh, that's where the guys are going. Oh, well. uh, a couple more switchbacks. Yeah, three uh, or four more switchbacks, uh, a couple going, hundred feet. The trail winds around on the north side. We may not want to go that way because of snow. Um, and uh, if that's the case, there's a shortcut, steep but straight up, that they use in the winter. Okay, we're on the summit. Dwayne's already set up over there getting some summit to summits. KX0R, he's working right now. KX0R, he's working him. I missed the summit to summit on the HT, but we'll see if I can come out a little bit better here. Um, this is not a configuration I've ever done before. Brand new antenna. And uh, I'll stand in the snow and see what I can get. <laughs> These guys know how to do summit to summits. We're sharing uh, Daryl's uh, station here. And we're just handing the key around. Best Pretty cool. way to do it. Yeah, rocks, man. It's totally cool. Love it. Most of the operators are used to us doing that, so it works pretty well. Yes. You know, they're not expecting that third one. I'm the wild card. I know. The, well, I told them that way tomorrow. <laughs> that's M6 AM. Oh, okay. Uh, is that Brian? M6 AM? I should know this. Here we go. This is AC1Z. Just, just send S to S. He heard you just, just go. Okay. WU 
7H. <laughs> get it? Yep. Tim's back on, so maybe you can get him now. Yeah, go, go work Tim, and I'm going to try to get N0 IPA. It's on a 10 corner. Oh, Tim's back on? Yeah. I'm going to try him here in a sec. Number one, Charlie Lima, Charlie. November one, Charlie, London, Charlie. Charlie, London, Charlie. Over. KG052, KG052 with Josh. And WK5, uh, the EZ Tim, Tim and uh, George are on a W5N summit. We might hear them. 140614, did you try that? Yeah. What's the call? I was just on that. How about uh, 28063? I tried that. Okay. I tried all these frequencies. Uh, KD0YLB, if you got the time, he's on 7048. Yeah, that was a while ago. Yeah, but he hangs out for a long time usually. Yeah, but Peter, Peter's a he's he, he's not a flash activator. He spins. Okay, there's time. somebody there, so let's change the links. Get the links going for forty. All right, all right let's do it. It's a little mushy. Okay, you're you're uh, good to go. I'm uh, changing frequency. All right. I put down. Right, Adam. Turns out this thing works. Definitely 30 meter uh, beats out the 30 meter dipole over here. So um, they came down from the KX3, used this guy, and uh, got their. We chased somebody on 30 meters. So the K6 ARK antenna is working. We're having a great time up here. And uh, now we're going to spot ourselves. I'm going to spot on 20, they're going to spot on 40, and we're going to get this uh, finished up up here. But uh, having a lot of fun. Also got a bunch of Summit to Summits uh, via uh, HT, so with the handheld. So there you have it. We're going to get, uh, we're going to get cracking here on 20. Okay. Working your racks right now. KE7MT? KE6MT. That's Rex. What did he give you? 539, same he gave you. What's it? Romeo 7, Romeo Kilo. Holy oh, shit. Summit to summit, whiskey, whiskey, 7, Delta. Well, we had a great activation. A lot of fun working with these guys. Um, so, Josh and, and uh, Daryl. I keep wanting to call him Dwayne. I don't know. That's just going to be it. Like on the office, I guess. But uh, got 11. I think we all probably got at least 11 Summit to Summits. We were sharing radios, and then I switched over to the 
we'd uh, flip back and forth between my KX2 station and the KX3. I wanted to test the uh, K6 ARK antenna, the super antenna. Um, it's a random wire end fed. Uh, Adam, it worked awesome. Uh, 20, 40, and uh, 30 meters so far. A uh, lot of summit to summits off that baby, so she's working so far. I'll give you some more reports off this next summit, but uh, I don't know, probably, I'm guessing in the 15, 20 contact range. I don't have my phone out, but uh, great time. Oh, we got some two meter summit to summits as well with some other folks up here in Washington summits. So a lot of the guys, uh, Daryl and Josh both know them. So good times. I'll probably have lots of videos since I ran the battery down on the uh, the GoPro 9. So we're on the backup camera because I can't get batteries for the GoPro 9. All right, so if you want to fund this channel, send me a GoPro 9 battery. How about that? Like and subscribe because it's only about me. It's all about me and my huge ego. So feed that by pressing the like and subscribe. Otherwise, change the channel. Well, of course I want to. Who wouldn't want to hit the bell on my state on my uh, YouTube channel, right? So we we are at the crossroads of we can go and do Evergreen Mountain, which is a, we would drive to another summit, or we can keep hiking this way and do Tonga Ridge, which is a bushwhack. It's a it's a non-trivial bushwhack. Non-trivial. Hmm. Non-trivial. So that sounds interesting. Are you feeling? I'm up for anything you guys can deal. What do you think? Whatever you want to do, and you've got the experience in the area, you know, it's how long is it going to take us all and everything like that. Yeah, it's almost like it would take us so long to get to the trailhead of Evergreen that it'll be too late to do a second summit. Should so, we just do Tonga? Yeah, I think we should try Tonga. Right. We can bail right. if it gets too wet or something. I'm in. Okay, let's do it. Let's do this thing. Oh, look at this forest. So green and lush. Well, get rid of my a layer before we do that, though. Yeah, we're just yeah we're just popping around a little bit of snow but nothing on the trail so these guys are yak about navigating the beauty of this whole thing i just follow the guy in front the fif <laughs> this is bushwhacking um washington style <sighs> thick forest yeah, this is the easy part. <laughs> this isn't the, we haven't really hit the bushwhacking part yet. Is this Daryl's idea a joke? He loves this shit. What the fuck? You go around on your uh, left side. Now you freaking tell me. Oh, I didn't go around that way. <laughs> story, we, we did mention the hazing part of this. Right? I told you I was going to be a bitchy Californian when I came up here. Where? Just kicked in the afterburners and went for it, huh? There's your double goat. This is why he's a double goat. <laughs> he just freaking goes. I will say this has been a a, a difficult bushwhack, but uh, luckily I, I brought my porter along to help <laughs> me get back up after I go down. Ready, Charlie, this is for you. Oh, Those are the mountain uh, snow murder hornets uh, that came in and attacked us. <laughs> so we had to do the bee dance. That was, uh, turns out, quite effective, Charlie. Uh, 
So November Juliet 7 Victor, the, the choreographer of the bee dance, uh, real effective. We're in about eight inches of snow here and uh, we got to get down before sun sets, get out of the bushwhack area before we break out the headlamps. So low clouds, ooh, some nice views over there. Oh, if the clouds would pick up just a couple thousand feet, it'd be awesome. Yeah. But, uh, peek -a -boo, peek -a -boo view the way there. Ooh. Oh my gosh, look at that. Whoa, dude. Yeah, this was gnarly. As long as it doesn't end in a big cliff. <laughs> Pretty steep over there. What? Pretty steep to our right. All right, so we made it back to the cars, a uh, little hiking at night. Um, Dwayne thought he saw it. Uh, Daryl thought he saw some snow coming down, so I can say I hiked at night in the snow. Definitely fog. Yeah. So we got to the second summit, and um, it was a pretty good bushwhack. And as um, soon as we got up there, these two guys got four contacts via two meter, like boom, 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 boom. They're like, we're activated. And I had just set up my HF uh, unit. I really did want to test the uh, K6 ARK antenna some more since I just uh, got an updated one. And uh, I got two two meter contacts and two HF contacts, one of them ZL1 BYZ in New Zealand. So I think the antenna is working, Adam. Thanks, dude. Uh, great hike. So we got four contacts and then we boogied out of there as quickly as we could because we really wanted to get through the difficult bushwhack part uh, and uh, back onto the trail before nightfall, which we accomplished uh, big time. And we almost made it really back to the cars. I mean, we're, what, I'm another, another 15 minutes hiking in the dark? Yeah. So it was great. I got to tell you, um, huge gratitude to you two guys uh, for taking me out. This was just great for me. To get you know some some Washington summits in the log, and I had a ball with you guys, so I really appreciate it. Good, so, yeah, we had a lot of fun. All right, so there's uh, well, there's well, whiskey, whiskey seven, Delta, Daryl, Josh. Uh, <laughs> oh, there we go, there we go. We got Josh over here. So thanks a lot, Josh. I really appreciate it. This is awesome. Glad to have you. Thanks. For all right, coming. so let's roll the credits. Peace and out. Peace out, dudes.